If you have a file that contains just PHP, it's better to leave out the closing PHP tag at the end. Why is this? It's all to do with HTTP headers. When the web server sends a response to the browser, it also sends along HTTP headers. These contain data such as a status code, the type of the content that follows the headers, and so on. Headers always go before the page content. No content, not even a blank line, can go before the headers. Let's look at an example. Here we have a script called functions.php and as this file only contains PHP, I've omitted the closing tag. Here we have another script called index.php where we're requiring the other file and then after that we're adding an HTTP header using the PHP header function. After the PHP at the top, which we do end with the closing tag as we're mixing PHP and HTML, we have some HTML along with some more PHP in the body. When we execute this code and view it in the browser, this is the result. And if we view the page source, this is the content that has been sent to the browser. You can't see the HTTP headers here, but by using the web developer tools in your browser, we can see the response headers here, including the header that we added. Now watch what happens if I add the closing PHP tag to the functions.php script. If I just add the tag like this, nothing changes, the page works as before. But if I add a blank line after the closing tag, then we get this error, headers already sent. So what's happening? In index.php, when we include the functions.php script here, the entire contents of that file are included in this one. This includes the blank line at the end. Even though it's just a blank line, this is still considered to be content, so we can't add a header after this has been sent. Once the server comes across some content in a file, it sends the headers. Hence the error message, headers already sent. This is why we don't include the PHP closing tag in a script that contains just PHP. It's too easy for a blank line or other white space to be added after the closing tag. The PHP documentation actually recommends omitting the closing tag for files that contain just PHP. And if you're adhering to the PSR coding style guidelines, which I recommend, then omitting the closing tag is actually part of that standard. Now you can avoid this problem by turning output buffering on on the server, which I actually switched off for this demo. However, you might not always be able to control whether this is enabled or not, especially if you're deploying your code to a server that you don't have full control over. So if you have a script that contains just PHP code, it's best practice to omit the closing PHP tag. 